Nolagent here at Cafe de Gas. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our restaurant review vlog, we're on a travel search for the best French food options in the New Orleans area. We are visiting Cafe de Gas a neighborhood French restaurant which specializes in classic French bistro cuisine with a New Orleans twist. Café des Gars is located in the New Orleans Faubourg St. John neighborhood at 3127 Esplanade Avenue, which is about 11 minutes and two and a half miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This is a unique neighborhood restaurant that's nearly hidden away behind all the trees and greenery surrounding it. You are invited to eat with me a New Orleans French food feast as we enjoy a lunch experience here. Our restaurant review videos will be exploring some of the best New Orleans restaurants and this New Orleans food vlog will show you how we enjoy our New Orleans restaurant experiences. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So Cafe de Gas got an interesting interior setup, and here's the bar right there and those doors lead out to the patio area. And now we're going into the main dining room here. So this is a decently large space actually and they can get quite a few people in here and this is where most of the indoor dining is going to be. You see there's even a tree inside this room right there. And then we can look into the kitchen area right here. So right under the French flag is the entrance to the kitchen. And then we can look around the whole space of this dining room. So you've got a pleasant little area in here with a lot of light coming through and you can see all the trees outside. Let's go ahead and check out this menu now. So we have a wine selection here with white and rosé, French red, and American red. Then we have a selection of aperitifs, sparkling, French 75, cognac, sauvignac, calvados, brandy, cocktails maison. We have our digestifs and pousse café. Then we have our beers and cider and alcohol free. Then we have our happy hour menu, Wednesday to Thursday, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. with the appetizers with a pate plate, a cheese plate, a duck confit salad, fried oysters, galette, bruschetta, poached shrimp roumelade, and frites with aioli. Then we have our happy hour drinks with sparkling white, French 75, house white wine, house red wine, cocktail special, and Thursdays, 30% off all bottles of wine. The painter Edgar Germain Hilter Degas was born in Paris on July 19, 1834, to Marie Celestine Mousson, daughter of a prominent Louisiana cotton merchant, and August Hyacinth Degas. In October of 1872, Edgar and his brother René traveled to visit the Mousson family in Nouveau Orleans during his stay, which lasted until February 1873. He resided with his uncle. Michael Mousson, his cousins and their children, and a large formal residence which still stands at 2306 Rue Esplanade in the fashionable Creole neighborhood. I spend my days in this affectionate world painting and drawing, doing some family pictures. During this visit, he produced a portrait of the Stel Mousson de Gas in which his cousin is arranging flowers and a vase in a dark interior. A deeper insight into this painting is provided with the realization that Estelle, wife of his brother René, had tragically lost her eyesight at the age of 30. This painting, a work of sensitivity and compassion, was acquired by the New Orleans Museum of Art in 1965. A second major portrait, The Cotton Market in New Orleans, which shows Michael Mousson's Cotton Exchange on the corner of Carondelet and Gravier Streets, with the family members casually going about their normal occupations in a finely worked, carefully developed, Redilineal composition. This was a revolutionary departure from the posal formal settings characteristic of portraiture at that time. This painting was shown at the Impressionist Exhibition in 1876 and was called Degas' first work to be purchased by a museum in Paul, France in 1878. Louisiana must be respected by all her children, of which I am almost one. Edgar Degas, New Orleans, December 5th, 1872. Then we get back to the regular menu with the appetizers, where we have a pate plate, a cheese plate, then we have a French onion soup, a ravioli, and then we have some escargot, and then we have some mussels. Then we have our salads with a house salad, and then we have a crab salad, and then we have roasted quail salad, and then we have a roasted beet salad. Then we have the entrees with the omelet of the day, the house quiche with sauteed Louisiana crawfish, baby spinach, a caramelized onion served with a petite salad. Then we have the black pepper encrusted seared domestic elephant tuna on bibletus with Dijon vinaigrette, 
Kalamata olives, white bucurons, anchovies, articled verts, hard boiled egg, tomato, and new red potatoes. Then we have a seared hanger steak, palm frites, seasonal vegetables, toasted garlic, and shallot bordelaise. And we have sauteed calf's liver, bacon, stone ground grits, toasted garlic, and shallot bordelaise, and seasonal vegetables. Then we have a la carte with articled verts, seared Brussels sprouts, seasonal roasted vegetables, asparagus, stone ground grits, palm frites, roasted corn succotash, bacon, and two eggs scrambled or fried. Then we have our daily specials with appetizers, Merle tongue bisque with crab claws and truffle oil, poached gulf shrimp remoulade, house-made salmon gravier, boudin noir, entrees, pan roasted amber jack, comfy death leg, flash fried Louisiana Gulf oysters, omelette du jour, and drink special strawberry delight. So we get to start our meal off with some complimentary bread and herbed butter. Ooh, 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 look here. So this is some very nice looking butter and some very nice looking bread as well. So there's quite a nice combination of having some wonderful bread with butter. So let's give this a taste. Mmm. Ooh, ooh. So I'm always a big fan of some delicious, perfectly cooked bread with perfectly flavored butter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So very nice. So this is not the traditional New Orleans style French bread. This is more of a French bread style French bread. So very nice. This is. I uh, got a very nice texture to it. It's got a nice little exterior crust and it's still got some uh, bit of a good flavor inside of it that's different than our typical New Orleans French bread. So all in all, very good. So it's like I've totally destroyed this French bread and butter. Go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So next up, I started out with a Merleton bisque with crab claws and truffle oil. Ooh, so let's dig in here. And it looks like a very cream-based soup with a whole lot of Merleton squash in here. Mmm, okay, this first taste. And the squash is a little bit on the crunchy side. It's got a good little crisp flavor to it. And uh, the cream sauce certainly gives some decent flavor to it. I'm not getting a whole lot of crab claw in here because there's only one of them. So the entire soup just said this one crab claw. I think I would have expected a few more crab claws in here, so I feel a little short change on the crab claw aspect of it. So it's like I've totally destroyed this soup. Destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this soup. And while you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do it for tips. I appreciate any help with that. For my main course, I got the pan roasted amberjack special with arancini, roasted butternut squash, wilted kale, and a nantua sauce. So we'll dig into one of these arancini here, which is a fried rice ball that has some nice additional ingredients inside, depending on who's making it. So let's give this a sample. And there's some good flavors in here. They've kicked it up a little bit. There's some uh, nice little flavors in here. Now let's give this amberjack a try. Ooh, so there's definitely a burned crust on this amberjack. It looks to be quite a bit uh, overcooked from the appearance. Let's see how the flavor profile goes down. And ooh, the amberjack's a little on the drier side. They definitely have really overcooked it. There's some uh, definite black charring on the outside. All right, here we go. Let's get some of the squash right here. I'm a big fan of butternut squash and it's always got good flavors for the most part. So let's see how this one was prepared. Okay, butternut squash, good flavors. Now we'll try this wilted kale. And ooh, this kale's definitely had a little cooking as well, but it still looks like it should have some good flavor. They definitely cooked it fast. And the kale's got nice flavor. Got a little crunch on that kale as well. And here we go with another piece of the amberjack. And there's one side of it here that seems to be a little better cooked and not completely charred and burned like one of the edges here. The uh, overall uh, texture and flavor of this fish though seems to indicate to me it's definitely on the overcooked side though as it's a bit drier than uh, I've had amberjack in other preparations, other restaurants, when I cooked it myself. So they definitely put some high heat on this fish. Look at that, it's like a black little charcoal limber on the edge of this fish here. Let's see if that flavor translates into, ooh, yes, definitely some crunchy, charred, burnt areas of the fish on that corner. 
So they certainly put some high heat on that one little corner. So one little corner of it was definitely burned to a charcoal. Now let's try this little slice of deliciousness here. And uh, that one's a little bit better. Certainly though, it could have been better and not cooked quite so much. A little more squash to get the squash polished up. And now one more arancini. Ooh, this one's got a little more colorful surprise on the inside. So this one's uh, definitely got some interesting things going on and uh, a little extra flavor kick in there that's always good. So these are uh, definitely pleasant little rice balls to eat here. And hey, anything fried often has a good flavor, right? So here we go, quick and easy. Take all of this main entree plate down. So just like I totally destroyed this plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this food. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon accounts. I do it for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. Now it's dessert time, and we have our house desserts with espresso and martini on there, cream brulee, a floating island, a frozen lemon ice pie, sorbet of the day, dark chocolate decadence, vanilla ice cream, chocolate mousse, and Paris breast pastry. So I decided to go with the chocolate mousse, and it looks quite moussey here, as you can see. Ooh, 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 a little cream on top. So here's the first taste. Ah, and I've got to say, it is a quite chocolatey chocolate mousse. So this is uh, exactly as advertised. A very nice, pleasant tasting, chocolatey flavored mousse and the cream on top goes quite nicely with everything so there's a nice balance of flavors and lots of delicious chocolatey flavor in here so it goes down very quick and easy it's a very simple dessert to eat and there's lots of very excellent chocolatey flavors in here and the cream on top really does give it a nice extra little kick of something something extra that balances out the chocolate flavor and gives a nice contrast to all of the yummy yumminess of the chocolate where the cream gives it a little more of that milky yumminess so it's a certainly excellent contrast of parts that all go together to make for the better whole so just like i totally destroyed this chocolate mousse destroy that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up comment below let me know what you thought about this chocolate mousse and while you're down there make sure to check out the link to my patreon account as I do her for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip was $54.81. So thanks so much to everybody at Cafe de Ga, and thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledgeant channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagent here, and thanks so much for watching, and just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.